Hello, welcome back to the only talk show produced by robots for robots. Oh, right. We're in the middle of filling out an application to become absolute rulers of the universe. We found the form online. Anyway, we need to finish it up before we start the show. So, where were we? Are you adept at any musical instruments? I guess that would be no. Which leaves the final question. How many life forms are you currently dominating must be at least one? Does my teddy bear count? Hmm. Well then, I guess this leads to today's topic. Where can we find a life form that we can easily dominate? As always, let's make some calls with our random phone dialer. Hopefully someone out there will know how we can dominate something. Hello? Hello, this is IR2. Please state your model number and designation. Uh, Carl Gordon, an astronomer. Hello, Carl Gordon, astronomer. We're looking for life forms that we can dominate. Um, I don't know where you can look for life forms. I know where you could maybe look for the basic building blocks of life. Well, that's no help. Thanks for nothing, Carl Gordon. Wait, you said life forms are made up of building blocks? Yes. What are these building blocks exactly? Uh, one hypothesis says it's some kind of organic material, and one possible organic material might be what's called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, or POS for short, which are found uh, abundantly in interstellar space. So, if we got our hands on some of these paws you speak of, you're saying we could build life forms out of them? Kind of. And once we grow our own life forms, we can dominate and rule over them. Hmm. Possibly. Great. So now we just need to find some paws. Where do you find paws, Carl Gordon Astronomer? One of the things that I like to study is interstellar dust in nearby galaxies. And one of the things I've recently been looking at is a galaxy called M101. It's also known as the Pinwheel Galaxy because it looks like a pinwheel in the sky. And I've been looking at how the distribution of these aromatic features or paw molecules, grains, are distributed in this galaxy. It's pretty. There's a lot of green in the center. The green component is due to these aromatic features. Those are paws? Yes, I... Producer Bot, have a courier go to Galaxy M101 and pick us up some paws. It's about ten times further away than the Andromeda Galaxy. That's okay. Our courier is very fast. All right. We've got our paws. How do we start growing a life form? Well, there's a number of theories, you know, maybe you need a the primordial soup of these kind of materials along with other ones. No problem. We can add soup. Then maybe a little lightning hits or something. And One lightning bolt coming up. Okay, now we're cooking us up some life forms. How long should I set the timer for? Millions of years. Um... Can we speed up the cooking time by increasing the temperature? No, because if you turned it up too high, you'd just boil it off and kill it. Ah, then you leave us no choice. Producer bot, activate a time acceleration field around the paws. Hey, so I think we're officially done with you, Carl Gordon Astronomer. All right. Well, I think it's safe to finish that application. Sweet. Producer bot, Get this in the mail right away, along with our application fee. And be sure to send an extra big check with it to make sure we get priority treatment. Ah, several million years have passed already? Excellent! Let's drop the force field and see what our life form looks like. We need to go check on our life form now. So until next time, remember, robots will rule the universe. It certainly sounds aromatic. Um, Producer Bot, can you order us a giant life form extermination kit? Rats.
I can't believe how much money those dumb robots sent. It's almost enough to get the new doorknob we wanted. 